Hi guys, my name is Naeem. Today I'm going to be talking about the AZ900 Cloud Fundamentals exam for Microsoft Azure. This exam is a beginner tier exam and it's a very good introduction into cloud services uh, and it's something I definitely recommend to anybody from graduates to people working in industry uh, to do it. And I have most definitely seen people of varying levels um, perform the AZ900. You know, I've seen people who have a lot of experience and I've seen people who are sort of like learning cloud. Um, so where do I start? The number one question you need to know with AZ900 is how do I study for it? Well, there's two options. Firstly, MS-Docs. MS-Docs is the Microsoft branded um, uh, platform which has a Microsoft documentation on uh, exam material for the AZ900. And it's very good, it's, uh, it, it, it's simple, there's end of topic tests for each topic or each section. MS Docs is the first place to go. <clears throat> the second place is YouTube. YouTube has AZ900 courses. Um, um, th th there's different people you will find on YouTube who have these three, four hour courses. Definitely check them out. Um, uh, Exam Pro is a very good one. And I think my third actually suggestion to practicing for the AZ900 is Udemy. Udemy, uh, in Udemy, you'll find certain uh, 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 authors that have practice exams, and that's so crucial to passing the AZ-100, just doing loads and loads and loads of practice tests so that you know what to answer with different questions. So that's that question done. Now, the second question, where do I book the AZ-900? Here's what you need to know. The AZ-900 is something that you can do completely for, for free. Unless you're from India, you can sign up to Microsoft's virtual days and you will be able to do the AZ-900 for free. Uh, you just basically sign into the virtual days, it could be one, two days, um, uh, you sign your email address, you sign up, you attend the virtual days, you don't even need to watch the whole like, lecture, it's like a two, three hour lecture, you can just sign in and then just keep the tab open. And then after one, two days of the uh, virtual day, you'll get an email which will give you an, a free exam voucher. People, it's like £69 in the UK, a bit more, or a similar price uh, in US dollars um, elsewhere. Uh, so uh, the fact that you can do it for free is amazing. And actually, if, I, it wasn't free, if, if it wasn't for free, perhaps I wouldn't even try doing it. But I did, and I'm glad. And there's also other Microsoft certifications which you can complete. So now the third really big question, how long does it take for me to study for the AZ-900? I remember watching a guy on YouTube who was like, you know what, I did it in eight days, so you can do it. No, that is unrealistic. You need to give between one and two weeks, suppose you're rushing it. You need to give, I would give two weeks to one month. How long did it take me? I started early February, start studying for it, um, going through like exam questions and watching YouTube videos. Then I went on a holiday, so I had a big break. Then I went back to revising for it. Um, uh, uh, so there was a gap sort of between mid-February to uh, mid-March. So mid-March, I went back to studying for it and eventually um, right at the beginning of April or end of March, sorry, no, sorry, beginning of April, I completed it. So it basically took me about two months, but I could have done it faster had I not because I went on a holiday in between and had a gap in studies. You really should give between two to four weeks to complete the AZ-900 and that, that, and that compromises of studying very regularly within that time frame. Because on top of studying the material, you definitely need to dedicate time to just doing lots of practice questions, you know. And in fact, um, practice questions uh, may give you more uh, exam knowledge uh, to pass in the exam rather than just looking at material. But the truth is you need to do both. You can't just rely on practicing questions, which I thought I could do. No, you need to study. You need. To, you should read MS Docs. You should watch YouTube videos. So, how did I find it? Well, honestly, it, I passed the first time, uh, and I got a decent mark. So, to pass the AZ nine hundred out of a thousand, you need something like seven hundred, and I think I got like eight hundred and thirty, or around that figure, if, I, if I'm not wrong. Honestly, it's not a very hard exam, but what is a uh, uh, what is a, a, a serious issue is that there's a lot of content. You have all these different Azure services you, from compute, um, networking, uh, different types of data storage, um, different types of AI. Uh, what really helped me, and I've said this again and again, is doing exam questions. 
you study the material and MS docs and you do videos and then you do exam questions. That really helped me a lot. Um, so you definitely should dedicate some time. No, don't try to rush this too quickly and you should be able to pass. The actual exam, uh, it's not, it, it is, I wouldn't say it's completely easy, even though I passed with a decent mark. But it does require effort. Like it's not as, it's not like a walk in the park or as easy as some people say it is. You do have to give some effort to pass in the AZ900. So now once you pass, what does it do? Well, here's the thing. The AZ900 is definitely something that has uh, helped me, I think, in my CV and in interviews. I talk about the AZ900 that, you know, I uh, want to work in infrastructure and cloud and I have the certification. But actually, like an interesting thing, when I passed the AZ900, I had little to no experience actually using AZ services. I'm sorry, Azure services. It was just things that I studied and read. You know, actually using Azure services, that's something that I, I'm, I have sort of come across at work. So using Azure Active Directory, Active, AD is, the, is probably the most, one of the most popular Microsoft tools. It's used for businesses to, you know, manage employee credentials and permissions and users and whatnot. Um, but um, the Azure portal is basically the website and if you make a free account on Azure portal, you'll be able to just fiddle around, you'll be able to um, uh, j j just see the different types of services. I did uh, log into the Azure portal via work emails, uh, so when I was at work, I had like a, a spin around the, web, the, 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 the Azure portal platform, but um, uh, I didn't actually build my own virtual machines on Azure and, 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 uh, um, be before passing the exam. There is another big competitor with Azure certifications and that is AWS. Currently, AWS is the market leader in cloud technology. Um, Azure is second. Not to worry, I did Azure first and actually when I started learning about AWS, there were a lot of things that I could relate. So basic uh, cloud fundamentals, uh, cloud fundamentals such as uh, infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, um, uh, 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 region availability, these kinds of concepts you can uh, sort of share between Azure and AWS. So my last tip guys, good luck with the exam. Uh, make sure you give enough time, watch YouTube videos, do lots of practice exams and you'll pass and you're, go you're gonna enjoy it and you're gonna be proud of it and you can put this on your CV. Thanks guys for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more cloud videos.